morning, I'm Claire. It's day eight in the 12 days of Clarimas, and today we're going to talk about my reading goals for 2019. I'm still feeling a little bit under the weather, but I have Lemsip and the show must go on, so forgive me if I sound a little bit funny in the next couple of videos. So if you are an old hat on this channel and you've seen my 2018 reading goals video, you will know I gave myself 10 goals for last year reading wise and that was too many. Shockingly enough I did not achieve all of my 2018 reading goals because here's what I found out about myself. Really really ambitious enormous goals that I know from the start I probably won't achieve. I don't actually find those motivating. I always want to set those goals for myself but then once I have set those goals for myself they always really stress me out and they don't work out. So I'm going to be kind to myself this year. I'm going to set myself five goals instead of ten and I am going to set those goals with two driving principles in mind. The first principle that is guiding my choice of goals is progress. Specifically progress from what I achieved in 2018. Not progress from the goals I gave myself in 2018 but progress from what I actually did in 2018 because that's achievable. Speaking of achievable, my second driving force behind my goal setting in 2019 is going to be to make SMART goals. If you don't know the SMART theory of goal setting, there are several variations of it going around, but the one that I learned and the one that I like is that your goals should be specific, measurable, achievable, realistic and time-based. So with my 2019 goals I am making sure they are all of those things. My first goal for 2019 is the traditional Goodreads challenge how many books are you going to read in 2019 and I'm setting this at 52. I'm doing this because I read 50 books last year so upping it by two seems very reasonable and achievable. It's time-based because it's over a year. It is also very specific and something that I can easily measure because Goodreads. I definitely would like to read more than that particularly because of a specific craft project that I'm going to be doing alongside my reading this year which I will talk about in a video tomorrow but 52 books is what I'm going for. Next up the one goal that worked really well for me in 2018 that I want to carry over in 2019 unchanged is that I want to read 50 50 books that are novel length and then things that are shorter than novel length. This means I want to read as many novellas and comic books and things like that as I do novels. I'm doing this specifically because in past years I have managed to make myself feel guilty about reading novellas and comic books because it feels nice when you read something really quickly and then you add a thing and then your Goodreads counts it the same as a giant tome. So of course my brain manages to turn that into guilt at reading shorter things. However, there are plenty of excellent shorter things about to read. I really enjoy reading shorter things. I want to make sure that I don't feel bad when I'm reading good things that I enjoy. And one way that I found to make sure that I I don't feel bad about it is to make it a goal and that's actually worked really well in 2018. I didn't read quite as many shorter things as I read novels but I had a lot of fun reading those shorter pieces. A bunch of them ended up on my favorite books of 2018. So yes, that's an excellent one and I'm keeping it. My next two goals are percentage goals. Last year I said that I wanted 25% of my total reading to be books written by authors of color and I fell a bit short of that. I read 18% books by authors of color in 2018. So as with my overall book amounts goal, I'm going to raise that by two and say that this year I'm aiming for 20% books by authors of color. And if you're wondering why I would pick a goal like this, I really enjoy reading about characters and peoples and places that are not exactly like me, my environment, what I know about. A really good way of achieving that is by reading books written by people not exactly like me. I'm also conscious that there are many 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 more people in the world who are not like me than who are. So it just feels like I'm you know getting a 
more rounded experience this way. I also want to read more authors who are new to me in 2019. Authors whose work I've never read before, I'm discovering for the first time. I usually read some new to me authors and I really really enjoy what I read by them, but I would like to make some progress in that area. Conveniently, in 2018, I read 38% of new to me authors, so I'm also upping that one by 2% and aiming for 40% new to me authors in 2019. And finally, probably my trickiest goal of 2019, I would like to drastically reduce the amount of unread books in my house. This is only for my physical copies because if I was gonna go through my audiobooks and ebooks that are unread, then we would still be here in like 10 years time. So I'm just going to happily ignore that aspect of it and focus on the books I have in my house, which are supposed to be on a to be read shelf in my living room and not in this here room. This room is supposed to have only red books in it. However, it has over a hundred unread books in it. I did a quick rough count of my unread books today and it came to a hundred and eighty books. That is too many. The to be read shelf in my living room holds about eighty books. So I would like to ultimately bring it down to having unread books only on that shelf, which means about eighty. And if you're thinking to yourself all this roughly this many and about this many doesn't sound very smart goal-like. That's because it's a general goal for the next few years. My goal for 2019 is to get rid of 50 unread books that I currently have in the house. This means either read them so they become read books or donate them. I would also like to keep an eye on how many books actually come into the house so that I don't end up reducing it by 50 and then increasing it by 60. I'm not sure what form this is going to take yet. I think it would be a lot more fun for me to do and a lot easier for me to actually keep up with a year long if I did this on a monthly basis and I could turn it into a bit of a game, something like what Emma is doing on Drinking By My Shelf with her balancing the books thing. Not that hardcore. I mean, you know, I'm wanting to get rid of a lot of books, about the same number as she is getting rid of in a whole year, but her setup seems very stressful. So something kind of like that, but more chill, if that makes sense. If you have never seen a Balancing the Books video, I would highly recommend them. They're very, very funny. But yes, so far the plan isn't 100% set in stone. I would like to try and get rid of 50 books this year and then 50 books next year and kind of achieve my goal of reducing from 180 to 80 unread books in the house in two years. But if it doesn't work like that, it doesn't work like that, that's completely fine. I'm going to revisit this goal later this year and just see if it's going well or if I want to make it a goal over three years instead of two, something like that. But I do think almost 200 unread books for me personally is too many. Obviously your mileage may vary. I'm sure some people would think that 80 unread books, which is my goal, is way too many anyway, but I think that would work well for me. Sometimes I get sent books that I haven't asked for and so I need to have a way to account for those. If you have suggestions for ways in which you, for instance, have managed to sustain reading and or donating a certain number of unread books over a long period of time, or if you have suggestions of like things that you would like me to see doing in a video, like a challenge or something like that, please do let me know in the comments because uh, I am not quite sure what I'm going to do yet. So that's it, those were my reading goals for 2019. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments what kind of goals you're setting for your reading year or for your year otherwise. And don't forget to tune back in tomorrow for another video in the 12 Days of Claremus in which I will tell you about my 2019 crafty reading base project. If you'd like to see more from me, you can check out a previous video on screen right now. And if you haven't yet, please hit the subscribe button that's on my face for a new video from me every week. I've been Claire, thanks so much for watching and see you soon.